Today, I want to talk about another contributor to the horror genre. And no, he just he doesn't just write zombie stories. It's uh, Brian Keane. I uh, read a Fangoria article a couple years ago that recommended him, and I have started, well, I've read a few of his by now, and I really like him. He is, uh, many people consider that he has um, kind of rewritten the modern zombie novel, starting with The Rising and City of the Dead involve very different kinds of zombies. I call them electro zombies on acid. I'm going to kill you. I'm going to kill you. I'm going to kill you. Oh, so, oh, mm -hmm. <coughs> oh, oh, what are you doing today? <laughs> this? Blanky. Oh, Blanky. Blanky. It's like you're always talking about Blanky. It's like you got your head stuffed up Blanky's head. Right. Hey, hey. I'm just talking about how he died. Well, he didn't write about zombie babies. Yes, he did. Well, in here, the rising. Oh, yeah, he did. Remember? There's a zombie baby yeah. in there. I like my team. You know, that's kind of like romantic comedy to me. Yeah, like really? So, yeah, I love the way. Um. What's the second? Yeah, City of the Dead. I love to bring that in. No. It's horrible. I dream about it. I no. dream about it. It's an horrible time. It haunts me to this day. Anyway, I'll see you later, okay? Um, bye. <laughs> this is the Sweet Babber. <laughs> oh, I cut myself. <laughs> Well, somebody likes attention. Anyway, it is not true of the City of the Dead. In fact, the City of the Dead is one of, and I, I'm telling you, I'm not that easy to gross out. The City of the Dead has an ending which still haunts me to this day. Be careful. Uh, one, when you buy The Rising, immediately pick up City of the Dead after it. I'm not going to tell you why. You'll find out. Uh, he's written a third zombie novel, but it's they're, they're more, these are more Romero zombies, whereas the zombies in The Rising and City of the Dead are kind of, like I said, electro zombies on acid. But Dead Sea is really good. I like it. This is part of, I guess, a two-book set. Um, Dark Hollow, which is followed by Ghost Walk. Kind of fun Halloween uh, joyride thingy. I do have a lot of other books to push. I, I, I'm a very big fan of Brian Keene, and I highly recommend, especially if you've never read his, his zombie book, starting with The Rising, you're really missing out on something. Um, I'm going to change pace for just a minute, show you a poster of, if I can get this right, this is a documentary called Second Skin. I love documentaries, and this one blew me away. What it is, it's about people that get into games like EverQuest and War, World of Warcraft to the point where they're basically living inside the game. A couple of the stories are kind of tragic, but it's really, really good. And a, um, a guy I work with, thank you, Chris Clark, told me that this is coming out very soon. Um, it is a graphic novel based on the zombie recorded attacks in Max Brooks's Zombie Survival Guide. Uh, it's coming out October 6th. Amazon has it for 1147. 144 pages. Did not know this was coming out. I've got a lot of interesting resources. People tell me all kinds of cool things. But that is coming out October 6th. Um, A, my partner Rick, and this is sad for Douglas Clay, found this first printing by Leisure Press, first printing for a dollar. It's called 
if I can get this right, the infinite. This guy, you can tell, is a big fan of uh, Richard Matheson's Legend of Hell House and Shirley Jackson's The Haunting of Hill House. Not that he's ripping them off, but this is very much in the vein of this. I didn't know it because this is the first book of his I've ever read. I wanted to read things by him. But um, this is kind of in the middle of the series. It's a standalone novel. It was for me. It has a nice intro, kind of catches you up. Um, really, really clever horror. I like this. I wanted to recommend this to you. That, I think, is uh, all I have to share with you this week. Um, as usual, thanks for watching my video blog and the irritating creature who always interrupts me. But uh, catch you later. Bye.